we're making this uh, fridge slide, but uh, fridge slide with a little bit of a difference. The uh, outer will be the fridge slide, and inner and under the uh, final product will be a table that will slide out. So this will be the main fridge slide, which pulls out to uh, 700 mil. And as you see, is that uh, when you lock it away. You can also pull out an inner slide, which is also attached, and that'll have a, a table across it, which again pulls out to another 700 mil. So the time you pull out two together, you'll have 1.4 meters all up with your fridge and an extended table underneath, or you can pull them out individually. Uh, lockable 700 mil slides. They lock in and they lock out. Uh, the main, the larger of the uh, slides is a, it's quite large. It's 240 kilos the weight. The reason though that why I'm using that is for the larger size. The smaller lockable slide is 125 kilos. Uh, you can change it to your design, and you can obviously change the length to make sure that uh, that suits your needs. Okay, next we'll just quickly go through just a quick uh, pen diagram of uh, the dimensions of it. Okay, here's just a very simple drawing of uh, what the slides look like and uh, how the angles, the aluminium angle is going to come off it. I'm just using 3mm uh, thick aluminium angle. Uh, to start off with we've got a uh, unequal angle of 100mm by 50mm. For the actual fridge slide, to support the uh, fridge slide itself, we've got 76 by 76 mil, and then to support the table angle, we've got equal angle of 50 mil by 50 mil. Our inner fridge slide, or the table slide, is 45 mil by 12 mil, and the larger one is 86 mil in height. On top of it, we'll have a piece of uh, it sits on top of this. Uh, 76 mil piece of angle it will be the uh, plywood or um, MDF for the fridge and on top of the 50 by 50 for the table I'll be using uh, I've got some uh, 5 mil uh, thick aluminium plate so I'll use that it's not being used for something else I could put a bit of picture on but uh, this is what you get Okay, what we've got uh, here is the uh, cut lengths. Is we need 100 by 100 by 3, and we need 1.5 metres. 76 by 76 by 3, again 1.5 metres. Uh, 50 by 50 by 3, again 1.5 metres. And uh, 3 by 50 uh, strapping, and I've bought 2 metres of that. And that'll just go for the brace along the floor. Now as you've seen in the uh, first piece, I've already cut uh, one piece of, uh, well I've cut both brackets for the first uh, slide holder. Uh, now I've cut those at 720mm uh, uh, and uh, it's fairly straightforward, it's cut. To do your holes, your holes, I'm not going to give you measurements for those because your holes will have to be relevant to uh, what brand and style of slide you buy. For the uh, bolts, to hold it together, I'm just using just using a, a round head M6 bolt, a screw head bolt. Uh, the reason I'm using a round head in there is that when it goes inside this, the track, there's little levers in there that go up and down, it runs smoothly over those. Okay, so the next step is is to cut the uh, the table length to which will hold the first part which will be the fridge. Okay, These will be cut at uh, 700 mil so I'll just set up the saw and I'll just, I'm just using a uh, compound saw with an aluminium blade fitted to it. Okay, the next step is to cut the two 50 by 50 angles for the uh, table. Again, these are going to be 700 mil long, so uh, we'll cut those. Okay, 
Okay, so here we've got our uh, two 700mm uh, table supports. Two 700 mil fridge supports, cut. and as, uh, we've already cut our other bracket to hold the uh, slides. So the next step is is to mark out and drill the holes into, uh, into the inner side that will then fit into each individual slide. By the time the holes are finished and it's fit in position, they'll, they'll fit into position like that, so one on top of another. And I'll show you that as those holes are drilled. Okay, so the next part is, is to uh, mark out your position of where this uh, fridge slide, where it's going to sit. So, that's, that's the fridge slide from top, that's the bottom edge there, and this is going to be the top. So along here, you've got to work out uh, if you're going to use obviously ply or MDF, and obviously the thickness of it, and then decide whether you're going to keep that above the slide or below the slide. The only reason you need to keep it above this back edge here is that if you've uh, making it to, for a small fridge to start with and you think one day you want it for a bigger fridge then you sort of need that to sit higher so the fridge sides don't rub against that edge. But uh, we'll make it to fit this fridge and uh, the next size up. I've got a 29 litre but it's the same width as a 40 litre. So what you need to do first is work out your thicknesses. So in this case is I'll be using 12mm ply and you set it out. Now obviously what I want is I want some clearance at the underneath just to stop anything from getting in there and jamming so I don't have to hunt it out later. I need my ply thickness and obviously I need to set it left and right. To actually mark out where the drill holes are going to go, I already know where, where the this is going to join with my inner slide. I've marked out those holes already and I had to drill one hole outside of the current factory pattern. So all I need to do is to actually mark those holes so I make sure so I make sure I get the right ones. And then just copy those marks over onto this where it's sitting in the right position and then uh, drill it and then do it for the other side and uh, everything's directly opposite so as long as we match get it right the first time the second one will match. Now when I originally attached this uh, track to the first uh, piece of bracket what I did is uh, hopefully use the three mil uh, aluminium as the spacers so when I re-put everything back together it will always end up in the same spot. So in this case is set the offset to 6mm, uh, if I put two threes together and set my uh, final piece up and it will give me the right clearance for my MDF. So when it finally slides everything will be sliding and there will be no rubbing on any surfaces. So I'll just uh, jig that up here and then uh, be right to do our first lot of markings. Okay, I've clamped it all up in position and uh, sorry about the rain in the background. So the next point is, is just to drill the holes. Everything's in the, in the right thing. I'm just going to drill straight through the steel and use that as the guide. Okay, what I'm just going to drill the first two holes. I've just got to move the slide to drill the third hole through this gap here. So I'll just temporarily put some screws in to use as clamps. Okay, I can now remove all the spaces and the clamps and then move the slide to where I need to move it. OK, 
Okay, so we just brought up that other hole now. We draw that and that's finished. Okay, and as, as you can now see, we've got our three, three holes. Okay, so we've loosened now, just got that piece uh, just with uh, two bolts holding it in, as you see. That's the first part of the fridge slide. And then we'll copy those holes onto the other side, and then we move to placing the inner slide in. Which will then sit in these holes, with the same holes, and that'll go into there next. And then after that we'll make the inner slide for it. First we'll take, take this piece off and we'll copy those holes off onto the other one. Okay, I've got the two sides of the angle for the uh, fridge slide itself on. Uh, and there you can just see in principle how the, uh, the fridge slide, I'll just put them together, how that works. And lock away. So now we move to the uh, next part, which is the uh, table slide, which will go underneath after we've inserted the second, second slide back inside, and then that's how we then pull out also. Okay, what we've just done is we've just lightly bolted together a new table slide into the fridge slide. So there's the fridge slide, and there's the table slide. So now what we do is we get a 50 by 50 piece of angle, and we'll set that up and mark it out so we can drill those holes. Now when you work out your placement uh, of your tabletop, what you've got to work out is your, your thickness that's going to be in here and what surface you're going to use. As I say, I'll use 5mm uh, aluminium, so I'll probably uh, keep about a 6 or 7mm gap in between there. If you're using, obviously, a uh, ply, you'll have to bring that down a bit. Uh, and it'll give you probably about 25 it'll give you a fair, fair thickness there. But uh, aluminium is what we're going to use in this case. The reason why I want it as high as I can, up, up at the bottom, that's, and that's the bottom edge there, is that I can then put more storage underneath, which I, at this stage is I'm planning to store plates under the table and uh, just some utensils. So we'll set this out, mark the holes, and then the same thing, we'll copy the holes to the other side. Okay, next, what we've done is we've set up our table bracket in position. We've pulled out the table slide slightly, just so we can get to the first hole, and we've packed it out. In this case, I've used this piece of uh, six mil to uh, pack out one, and I've used another piece of three mil, so I've got a total of nine mil packing. And then what'll happen is the table is going to be 3.2 mil thick, and that'll sit on this top edge here once we're finished. So we're going to flip this over, get to the drill hole.
Okay, so there's one of our drill holes just in here. Same thing, we'll get a drill big enough to take a uh, M6 bolt and we'll drill through there. Okay, we're just going to temporarily uh, tighten this first bolt up and then slide along and drill, drill through the next hole. Now I can le release pressure from uh, this, this clamp here at the back and it's another one at the other end. set it up so we can just do this second hole here. Okay, we just re-clamped it and we're ready to do the second hole here. Okay, we just removed the uh, left hand aluminium angle from the uh, left hand table side and we've now got the uh, right side angle and we just clamped them together. Now what we'll do is we'll just get the drill and we'll mark the same holes and we'll drill through that. right hand table slides and now we're right to uh, bolt it all together before we move off to the next step. Okay I've bolted all the angles to uh, all the slides and I've just brought them together just to demonstrate uh, how it would work. So if you want to use the fridge, you can use the outers, that's your fridge slide. If you want to use the table, there's your inners. Together. Or if you want to pull out both, you can pull out that to its full extension, and then you can pull the table out to its full extension. So overall, it gives us uh, 1.4 meters in total length. Now, now what we'll do is we'll cut the. Uh, the MDF and we'll also cut the aluminium plate to make the table to the right width. Okay nothing technical here just for a 29 to 40 litre angle a 700 by 390 piece of uh, MDF is plenty sufficient. So we've got that cut so uh, now I'll cut the aluminium sheet up. Okay I've cut, cut up my uh, MDF for the uh, top. I've drilled uh, four holes along each edge uh, so take a quarter inch countersink uh, uh, bolt or screw. We've screwed uh, this, this bracket just to the table temporarily so it doesn't uh, move too much. Uh, now what we'll do is bring our fridge slide into position. We'll get our 6mm spacer, which is in this case 6mm aluminium, and then we'll push our table up against that. 
then we'll just line it up with the uh, front edge where it's supposed to be and we'll just slip the uh, table uh, slide out of the way so we don't drill through that clamp uh, one end just to hold it Okay, so it's clamped down. Now we'll get our drill. And we'll just drill these uh, four holes in position. I'll go through and clamp in. So what I'll do now is I'll take this back to uh, the drill press and I'll just countersink those holes. And replace that. Now all we have to do is just cut the, uh, the bolt just, just a length so it doesn't uh, foul the uh, table. But the rest, the rest will just go in. We now have this side uh, screwed down. Uh, counter sunk and all the bolts cut to size and there's enough clearance in there and that's half the table working and we've still got our table slide underneath so now what we do is we move to this side and we just do exactly the same pattern so first give whatever space we're going to use and it's our six mil piece of aluminium and what we've got to do is line up this front edge here. Again we'll move our table slide out of the way. And again we'll just clamp up uh, a bit of angle to the MDF. Once we're happy, we're in the right spot for the same process of drilling the holes this side. Okay, we'll take this off, take it back to the uh, drill press, countersink these holes in here and then bolt it up. The top of the uh, fridge slide is now uh, fitted, it's screwed down uh, with the uh, screws just for clearance. I've used a small very small nut, um, so I've uh, locked tight that in. It's not to come off anyway, so that's fine. Next, what we're going to do is we're going to get the aluminium table, and we're going to put that into place and fix it to the uh, table slides. And push that into place. And now, what I'm going to do is just going to uh, put uh, four rivets on each side to hold it and uh, we'll see how that goes and then as I say I'll probably end up flipping it over and just tack welding it, the aluminium. Okay, all we used to do now is to put the carpet on the top, we put an aluminium trim around the edges, and then to finally, after that, just get some flat uh, aluminium, and I'll weld that across uh, the bottom just to brace it so it's always in the right position.
Here's the uh, fridge slide all finished now. So we've got on the top, we've got the uh, fridge slide, which slides out 700 mil. Locks into place. Slide that back in. We've also got underneath a table, which again folds out to another 700 with an aluminium top. Fold that back in. Well, what we can do is we can pull both out to the full extension. Okay. And there's the table sleeve out, full extension. 